So Dying Light 2 new update has added over 7 new pole arms in the game and out of those 7 pole arms you can right now get 4 of these pole arms in the game. So let's not waste more time and let me show you where you can get these pole arms in the game. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel for everything Dying Light 2. Now the first pole arm is called the Plowshare which can be found on top of the building near the metro downtown court. So just fast travel to this location on the map then go straight and head inside. <laughs> After that, turn towards right and take an elevator. Also, if you don't have this elevator unlocked, you can always use other means to paraglide and reach on top of the building. But once you're on top of the building, go to one of these corners, this one specifically, and grab the blueprint that you can see on top of the large crop plot. So once you get the blueprint, you can always go to the craft master and upgrade the blueprint if you want or just simply craft and use it. The next pole arm is called Hogan's Goat which you can get from many places. Firstly, you can get it from renegades who are basically wielding it. So when you see a random encounter like this with a blue logo, just go there and you might find a renegade holding this weapon. Now all you gotta do is kill him and steal the weapon easy. But let's say you don't want to do that. Well, you can always find this weapon from Santa airdrop that too in exotic tier. But let me be honest here because it's going to be a little bit hard to get it to spawn. Then finally, you can get the same weapon from traders around the villador. So yeah, there's always a chance for these to be available in three of these locations. The next pole arm is called the royalty, which you can only get from Senshu, the chapter 2 agent. Yes, yeah, she's the only one who has this weapon. So just head over to this location and buy the weapon from her if you have enough points and level. After that, just simply enjoy the weapon. The next pole arm is called a North Pole Arm that you can only get from a Grim Santa bundle worth 500 Dying Light points. And yes, this is the only way to get it. By the way, this Pole Arm also has a deep freeze effect to it, which you won't find in any other Pole Arms. Next, there are three more Pole Arms that's currently in the game files, but you can't get them. The first one is called Ishmael, which will be available on Techland GG store in the upcoming future. The second one is called Sky Piercer JL, which will be part of a future DLC bundle called Lubu. And yeah, here's the first look at this bundle. Also, currently, it's the best Pole Arm in the game in in terms of stats and damage so yes it's the strongest and the best one next and the final pole arm is called the angel of villador and yeah this is what it looks like now let me tell you that currently you can't get this pole arm which means it will most likely be part of a future event or dlc and that my friends is every pole arm we have in the game out of seven pole arms we can right now get four of the pole arms and i've shown you how to get each of them so thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe if you found this video helpful and i'll see you guys in the next video till then stay safe and stay human